All right, let's send him to the slicer so we can get him sliced and printed. Three, two, one, go. I think this is actually a good size. It's kind of big. Maybe I should do two of them. think that's everything. So now I just plug everything into my MacBook Pro. By everything, I mean this thumb drive. So I plug this into my MacBook Pro, if it ever goes in, put the files on here, put them in the printer. So now I just export the slice file to the thumb drive after this advertisement. And this is the sliced file slicing from the supports, all these really thin uh, dots are the supports that are moving so it's sort of moving up and as we get further then we get to the actual prints So you'll see it'll spread out and it'll make the silhouettes of our prints all the way to the all the way to the top of our prints Each one of these is a slice That's why it's called a slicer and when it gets to the printer it prints every slice as a layer and it will build everything up And you see it's hollow in the middle. So you you save a lot of resin doing your prints hollow plus you don't really need them thick so Package my files and finish the process so we can get going. Estimated file, three hours, we'll see. And then I'm just gonna check, 
check the file, blah, print. So we are good to go. So I can. Stick it in the printer, baby. So since I just printed yesterday, I'm just gonna turn it on. Put the USB drive in. Can I help you? Can I help you? Then I'm just gonna let it do its thing, baby. 1,765 slices. And here it's looking like five hours. So we'll see.